who just watched the sequel to Riverdale, Monha Unveil, where two fat lards reveal their massive guts. Yeah. Well, Not on purpose. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're reaching in that Lonha Peaks. Let me just tell you about the travails of being horribly overweight. Reaching is not an option. <laughs> nope. Unless you want to show the old gut. And uh, much of gut was shown today. Yeah. Especially considering your pants are held tenuously by some sort of physics defying <laughs> force. <laughs> they really are. Anyway, we are. It's pretty good when we prepare so well that yeah. there's chiming that yeah, happened uh, during I the I just video. want to say that was Marcus. So That's your fault. Yep. And I don't mean Marcus, I mean you. But anyway, speaking of, you know, faults. One of our major ones is buying stuff we don't need. Yeah. It's unfortunate, mm -hmm. but it happens. So this is it, folks. This is another stanky-ass haul. Let's see what a couple of dumb retards like us bought this go-around. Let's start it off with some movies. Hit me with yours. Hit films. Hit films. Uh, I got Dan DeVito's uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, season one and two. Season one and two, It's Always Sunny. This is fucking classic. If you don't think It's Always Sunny is funny, then you're probably pretty uptight. Yeah, you know this is this is this is Seinfeld to the tenth degree. <laughs> yeah, no one's likable. Yeah, no one, and I mean not that anybody on Seinfeld is likable, but these people are horribly unlikable. But that's why we love them, especially Frank with egg. Can't beat Frank. Next, speaking of eggs, I got a RoboCop. Now I want to say this one was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. This is the remake of RoboCop. To yeah. be clear, otherwise that's not a thing to boast about. Yeah. But if you're going to get a remake of RoboCop, might as well be for a buck. Dollar Tree. Hashtag Dollar Tree strikes again. Why are you plugging Dollar Tree like if they need it? <laughs> yeah. Fall, the Fault in Our Stars is a pretty good movie. I saw it. Yeah. Prison. Saw a bunch of fools in prison cry and pretend not to. Yeah, it has that one good uh, Charlie XCX song before she became shit. I'm not even going to say Charlie XCX ever had a good song, but I'm going to roll with you and agree for you this know, minor like sec. I would smash it and I bopped. But it's like go. I bopped to some garbage. It's our, it's our best song, though. <laughs> you gotta admit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you, you know what she has that I hate? Mm. Her, her like, shoe wear. Oh, yeah. It's, she always wears it, like, for a flat. Like, like there's no... Up to, yeah, there's no angle on her fucking shoes. She's wearing high heels, but there's no angle. She's wearing big platform shoes, but there's no angle. It's like flat. Like, yeah. who the fuck does that shit? Maybe she got, like, flat feet or something. Uh, maybe she just doesn't like the heels, which is power to her, but don't wear heels then. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, hashtag Dollar Tree, once again. Dude, you gotta stop plugging Dollar Tree or we're gonna <laughs> fucking kill you right now. <laughs> yeah. Scalp you alive. Yeah. Um, what is this? Green Lantern First Flight animated movie? Yep. It's a buck. No, At I, Dollar Tree, apparently. I hate to say it, but uh, hashtag right, Dollar me... Tree <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> once man. more. Jurassic Park, uh, with you know a bunch of versions on it. Yeah. So a dollar. That was for kind a of shocking. I was like, "What yeah, the?" Yeah. It's a classic, though. Although you hate it, apparently. I haven't seen it. That was it. Yep. All right, my turno, and my uh, my little batch here is uh, gonna start off with this uh, five dollars with any purchase. <laughs> uh, uh, blue on uh, Blu-ray. I wish uh, DVD of Pet Cemetery Two. The good Pet Cemetery movie. Yeah, look, I know that a lot of people love that first Pet Cemetery. It's a stinker. I get it. I used to like it once too, but uh, it's not good. No, it's really bad adaptation with horrible acting. This is fucking crazy and fun, and it actually gets the Wendigo. Love it. Or Sue you, me, as you used to say, Wendigo. Ignore that and go on to the next one. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Okay, good. Means nothing to anyone though. Nope. Um. This is Kill Bill Volume 1. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Quentin. Yeah, and, he uh, wrote a It's Pat. No, did you hear? Yeah. God, his, his opus. Yeah. His opat. <laughs> Speaking of opi, <laughs> that's a word, right? My my opus will be the 600 plus love letter to Emma Stone's feet. And it'll start with me watching this movie. Damn. Easy just eight. to her feet, not her. Yeah, it's just to her feet. It's going to creep her out and she's going to mace me in the nuts. Yeah. Through the mail. Yeah. It's gonna be like that Bjork stalker guy. It's gonna the spring load mace. Yeah, to me though, yeah. from her, which just makes her creepy. But her feet are nice, so yeah. Easy A, uh, I've seen this, but I, I saw it in, in uh, conditions that didn't allow me to pay attention to it very well. Uh, all I prison? was, uh, yeah, all I was looking at was her and trying to take enough, uh, you know, mental, mental pictures. pictures so that later in the shower I could do something. Uh, stroke the weasel. It worked. 
Uh, this one I found for a dollar thirty-four. This is a great movie, man. Uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds in a non-comical role, mm. buried, a man stuck in a fucking tight-ass place. Oh, I remember the trailers to that. Yeah, really, yeah, I really, to see really, that. really good movie. Dollar thirty-four. Yeah, plus you get to see Ryan Reynolds buried alive. That's always yeah. great. Speaking of cheap ass movies, that, that sounds I... like I hate him. <laughs> yeah, I hate him. No, I'm just kidding. I love him. I would marry him. What the? He's cool. Damn it. Ryan Reynolds is cool. There, I said it. What the? Um, recently, Screen Factory released a box set of Critters. Mm. Sixty dollars. Hit films. Uh, manufactured. Uh, suggested retail price. What did I say? Like I don't that? know. That was weird. MSRP of seventy dollars. <laughs> it usually goes for fifty bucks. But a lot of them came with uh, came mispackaged. They had doubles of one of the movies, so the local store there just broke a package up and sold the movies for two bucks a pop. Yeah. So I'm missing part one of Critters. Here's two, three, and four. But I don't give a shit because really part two was my favorite. Oh. Three or four are fucking ridiculous. So might as well just go with those. I can do without one. Hey. Especially if I just paid five bucks for them. True. You know, because one it was buy two get get one for a dollar. Yeah. So five bucks for something that sh- that should have been like around 50, 40, uh, 40, 50 bucks. True that. I'm in, baby. I'm in. Plus, Fuck I hear the uh, the critter second hand market is uh, off the charts right now. Apparently, just made that up. I don't know yes. why you went along with it. <laughs> just rolled with it, man. I'm rolling. Yep. Rolling like a fat man. Speaking of fat men, uh, well, I got these at the Goodwill hashtag Goodwill. Why are you plugging stores that don't need? But we need plugging. Uh, yeah, I do need a plug in my mouth so I can stop eating. Anyway, and plugging. This shit was uh, two bucks, and I remember liking it. I hope it doesn't suck. Yeah, it's gonna blow ass. Yeah. What is this? You just said this shit is two bucks. Dark Sector. Yeah, I, used to, I remember it being pretty decent. It's one of those two dollar games. Okay. Prince of Persia. This is the only one I haven't played. Uh, and I one of the one play. million renditions of Prince of Persia. Yeah, I know. They gotta stop with it. As long as Jake Gyllenhaal in there. Um, WWE All Stars. For some reason, this game is kind of expensive secondhand. Uh, I remember it being cool, so uh, I kind of want to play this. Hopefully, it's good. All uh, fails, you could just resell it for yeah exponential amounts of money especially versus what it costs. Especially you. because I got it for two bucks at the hashtag Goodwill. This has gotta stop. Yep. Look, we're cheap. Hashtag every cheap store out there. <laughs> we don't need much. to plug them. <laughs> Pretty much. They don't need more money. Yeah, but I'm hoping that they'll give us a little... They're not going to give a shit. A little cash, dude. The day we get a sponsor is the day hell freezes over, literally. Mm. Well, I don't have any games, so uh, let's go on to... Music? To some uh, sack. I got uh, Roxanne. Yeah, uh, a little hits collection of uh, The Police. Yeah. You know, some old school classic shit. Uh, not very well remastered. No. Because it's not remastered. But uh, whatever. I it was a, it. a scent. Yeah. I need to give it another listen because it was just kind of in the background. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I could bop to it. Next. Uh, oh, shit, that goes last. <laughs> For I don't good know reason. The, I don't know where the other one is. What we'll the come fuck happened? I don't know. It was right there, but now it's, it's gone. It's horrible organization skills from the man himself. Well, fuck it. We'll just... We'll just say yeah, it here. we'll come back. Now we had a video for this, but I guess it's gonna go by the wayside. Oh, it's coming. No, it'd be pointless by then. So we'll just say uh word up. <laughs> Burn up to that. Um yeah, we found this by circumstance. That's you it. You wanna say it? I mean <laughs> you just <laughs> What the hell were we talking about? I don't know what the fuck we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, but, but we ended up talking about Cameo's cod piece. Yeah, and, and then uh, that led you to you saying... I really hope they have Word Up, jokingly knowing that they weren't going to have Word Up. Mm-hmm. And then you're looking through <laughs> looking through the CDs at the hashtag Goodwill, and you come across freaking Word Up! And my mind was literally blown. I couldn't believe it. Yep. A couple of days later, I had to go back and get it. Literally, he stopped all conversation and said, Dude, you're not going to believe what I just found. Word Up! <laughs> The CD. What are the chances to find Word Up <laughs> at a fucking Goodwill? Our Goodwill. Exponential because everybody threw this fucking CD away. So not really that shocking, but still, it's pretty it's weird. It's kind of shocking. Weird. Next. Our books. I mean, I get what the hell happened to this CD? I don't know. It's in the bag somewhere. We'll get to it. It's horrible. Next. Whatever. Whatever you got. 
I got uh, uh, Sir Isaac Asimov. I'm assuming he was a sir. Seems like a sir. Uh, Zy Robot, the hit film from uh, Will Smith, I hear that's based on. Right? Golly, man. <laughs> Imagine. Let me make this clear before I punch that was a joke. him. That was a fucking joke. Yes. And even as a joke, I wanted to punch him yeah, for saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, you've been really hostile towards Fuck me recently. that movie, man. I don't know what the hell's up with you, dude. Fuck that movie. That's a good point. That movie alone uh, <laughs> makes you hate me. I'm, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the other channel, man. It's getting to me. Yeah. It's not vibing with my, mm. my, my, my inner being. Yeah, it's not. It's going to lead to massacre. Yeah. I got Speaking some... of massacre... I hear they kill monkeys in the Bhutan, I guess, right? I'm just going to go with the Bhutan. Yeah. Where is the Bhutan? I don't know. I don't know what the hell but the Bhutan I know is. President Trump calls it button. Yeah. Button, man. Well, he has to know what it is. Anyway. Anyway. Curious George, what? It's a four, eight stories. So like I thought a, it was cute. Like a, a omnibus, I guess, of <laughs> Curious George. <laughs> yeah. And yet it still manages to be like a centimeter thick. <laughs> yeah. I, think I don't know what cute... this weird uh, kid book obsession is, but I'll go with it. Oh, Next. yeah. Oh, I'm going to reserve that right now. Right. Got about that. Next, Dark Knight Metal. This is the main uh, six-issue run. Um, of course, this is one of those that you kind of have to read all the surrounding comics. But it was pretty damn great if you like weird cosmic horror. and uh, Superheroes? <laughs> yeah, superheroes Batman. is pretty much the perfect mix. I really, really liked it. Pretty cool, man. <clears throat> That's it. That's my review. Yeah. Pretty cool, man, because I haven't read it. Yep. But I've heard good things from you, mainly. So it's probably sucky. <laughs> yeah, it's really shitty. Coincidentally, the critics for Poe, the comic, yeah. seem pretty non-committal. It's like, it's a, it's a book, right? I read one review here, and it says, uh, an enjoyable read. That's it. I mean, I guess, you know, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, this other guy, though, says... Quite a bit of fun. But usually the reviews are yeah. more glowing than this. But anyway, uh, you know, well, this was just like a, a thrift was, store find. Yeah. So hashtag good one. Hashtag stank will. Uh, next up is a hashtag because it, it smells pretty bad. It there. smells like freaking butt mud. Dude. Feet. That was you. But uh, okay. I got a mini Seuss haul here from the hashtag good one, of course. I like uh, how I like it just stunned me that yeah <laughs> for a millisecond. And uh, these are these are under his other name, Theodore Giesel Olesig. So, a bunch of Seuss books. There you go. Look, I'm not gonna pay freaking twelve bucks for a new copy of a Seuss book. So whenever I see them at the old hashtag Goodwill, I pick them up. Yeah, Start that's the only way to get them. They're really robbing people with them shits. Especially, I mean, kids. Speaking of Robin, Robin. The gay lover of Batman, which yeah. this compendium is about. Oh. And, uh, and my favorite new thing ever, Swamp Thing. How's your favorite new thing? You love Swamp Thing since forever. Yeah, because it's a new book. Oh, you mean the book. Oh. Yes. In that case. Oh. Next. Do we hit the comics? Let's hit the comics. I mean, they are books, right? Yep. Technically. Pe Penis Tracy, your favorite yeah, he's, type of he's Tracy. Pretty, pretty hot. Uh, new issue of Justice League Dark with a. It's not yeah, good. That's not a good cover. It looks yeah. good from a distance, but. It's a stinker. You get up close, so it's a reeker. It's like you got reekers. Hillbillies usually stink. Uh, this really squat Max on the cover of uh, Batman Max number three. The only the only kind of Max I like is a squat Max. Look at that shit, man. Yeah. He's like down there. Looking like a frog ass. Uh, new Judge Dread. And a new Scooby Doo Apocalypse, the where huge. he meets Apocalypse from X Men. Yeah, uh, I got a few comics, or you got me a few comics. This uh, Nosferatu, which was a tie-in to the to those uh, Mesco figures, I guess. I guess Silent Screamers. Anyway, it has an Alex Ross cover. It's Nosferatu based on the 22, 1922 film, so I guess. And uh, issues one and two of the new Black Widow series from the Sasuke sisters, which are horror directors and writers, so that's interesting. I like to call them the Sosters. Final issue of uh, Archie 1941. Yep, ignored it, by the way. <laughs> and uh, Archie 702. Hey, pick the good cover. Thank God. Just celebrating to myself. Yeah, that's not great. Next. 
I got this weird uh <laughs> this weird bear. Look, man, I'm not gonna say that this bear fucking sucks, but the reason it sucks is the reason it's cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's like a balloon ass bear. Tiny ass head. <laughs> Tiny feet. Harlequin bear, if you will. I don't know what this is. I don't know why this exists, but uh Hashtag Goodwill. Hashtag Goodwill. Fuck. I like how you've jumped on it now. I hate it so much that uh, it's become a part of my soul, apparently. It's a Goodwill, not, not, not the bear. <laughs> not the bear. Just clarify that I love the bear. Clearly it's great. Uh, I got the first uh, licensed pop, apparently. What? Yeah, apparently what? the Batman was the first licensed pop. Oh, I thought you meant like this is the first time they licensed Batman. <laughs> and every previous time has been some Fake. sort of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you dreamt it. Uh, it's kind of simple, but I want it. I wanted it. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Cut to me throwing it in the trash. Yeah. yeah. Classic oh, bad, if you will. <laughs> this is for our boy now. This is for our boy Marcus, loyal viewer. I gotta say, it is, uh, the box is a little bit bent, but that was the best one. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, no, that was the one. Oh, man. No, the other one sucked. I looked at it. It was all ripped. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right, well, Marcus, I hope you're not a I love boxes collector. Yeah. I sure as hell am not, but I know some people are. Either way, you're getting a free Colonel Sanders, so shut your trap. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is for our boy Marcus. He's badass. Enough said. I kind of want some of that chicken, etc. Next up, we got Conan. Conan O'Brien and his Armenian gear pop. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. But not as cool as... That's not what I was going for. No, nope. <laughs> it's not as cool as... This segue could have gone better. Here we go. <laughs> not as cool as Luchador Conan. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't have the German Conan, but I got the one I wanted. Yeah, man, this is pretty cool. Apparently, these are GameStop exclusives, so if you're a Conan fan. GameStop's exclusive indeed. Yeah, um, that Barbarian one was pretty cool. I saw it. And uh, you should get it. Yeah. Next. I like this one. This little pop is what Batman first appearance Batman. Yeah. So he's got the shitty purple gloves and he's the really, weird hair. He's really, I mean the weird hair, the weird cow. He's a really cool guy here. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. This is a pretty cool box, first yeah. of all. If you're an inbox collector, I guess that'll tickle your pickle. I dig it. I saw these online and I was like, damn, I gotta get me one of those. Completely forgot about it until you saw it. Next. You got anything? I don't know. I'm waiting for you to reach into your... Jesus, what the hell? The literal scalpings going on over here. I got this a fleece. I'm not a toy. No, that was it. Oh, that was it? Oh, there it is. Now it appears. Yeah. We'll get to oh, that well, right okay, here. Uh, AJ Styles. It's too late now. <laughs> this this bad boy is uh, your gay lover, AJ Styles. Yeah, he has no nipples, unfortunately. Wrestler, yeah. If you collect wrestling figures, have you realized they have no nipples? I Why am. is this so? It kind of broke my mind, honestly. Yeah, it's, like, not, it's not cool. Not to insinuate that we want nipples yeah. on men. And this is, what is this? This is apparently a rip-off, knock-off, S.H. Figure Arts Batman from Justice League that I got and some guy had modified to make like, it darker. Like how it's hip, just busted. Yeah, it's got kind of loose hips, but that's kind of common with those. This is a really good looking uh, bat. bat. Like, hash, uh, and it's a knockoff. Yeah. So there you go. And the cape is actually good, unlike the majority of Bat figures. Yeah, rest in peace, Bat Flick. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. All right, well, this next one is mine, and it was a gift from a chum. Did a little did a little handiwork for him. By that, I mean hand job. Yeah, his name is Chungus Charlie. Uh, this is the Wellhouse version of Pennywise. So now I have all three versions of Pennywise, and I've come across them through good circumstances. One a birthday gift, another one cheap as fuck, and this one for free. So so far, win. so so far, Neca's uh, lost on me. Yeah, milking, milking of that uh, sculpt hasn't affected you. Nothing at all. Technically, or, I paid uh, for one. Hashtag Nathan. Nathan, this uh, this is pretty cool, man. This is the xenomorph, the alien xenomorph, obviously pop but this is the 40th anniversary one so it actually looks cool unlike the other one yeah the other one sucked and it has the clear dome on top so you can see the skull underneath yeah a little big chap action and that's pretty cool pretty damn cool the other one sucked yeah except you know, for the small version which was pretty cool 
both the alien and the predator were black men. And the, yeah, and then this bad boy right here. Random fact. Shush. Black on black violence, yeah. alien versus predator. You heard it here first. <laughs> this bad boy. Really, I should have saved the money because yeah. I owe uh, on a down payment that I put down. But this fucking thing was twenty four bucks. And yeah. It's usually fifty, forty, somewhere around there. So, gotta get it to add to my Harl's collection. Yeah, uh, Harley Quinn in a very, like you said, scene specific outfit. Yeah, you know your collecting is kind of loser when you're going for very scene specific figures. Yeah, but this is cool man. I like little statues and cats and shit like that. So let's let's check out this original price on this thing. Uh, oh, toward the box. It just says buttload. Yeah, let's see, forty five bucks. Damn. So that's pretty good. Pretty good savings on that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these. Next. Some more CDs. I like how you don't know what you bought. Yeah. Uh, Thrag Scorb. Uh, Thrag Scorb, a.k.a. Goth Brew. A.k.a. Ga Gar Brew. <laughs> Good one. Goth Brew is his, yeah. like, brooding, gothy guy version. It's his... Uh, it's it's his, just Chris Gaines. It's his gothic beer. Goth yeah. Brew. Yeah, we went too far into yeah, that. Yeah, that was a pathetic. So, uh, this is Garth Brooks' uh, Ultimate Hits Collection. Mm -hmm. $3.99. Like Can't beat that. I like that. I like that. Garth is like, son of a bitch, I'm not making money anymore. Nope. Next, Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast, classic album, of course. This one has my favorite of their songs, Hallowed Be Thy Name, which they can't perform legally anymore, so that's a thing that happened. Pretty cool. I like uh, uh, um, this one. Yeah, that's a good I one. like that? Yeah. No, you have to guess which one. Uh, no, this is the one I was waiting for you to say. Or show, because I forgot that you also had gotten these. Yeah, me too. And, of course, you got ICP's newest album at my behest and recommendation. I don't know if I did you dirty or not. I don't it know was, if you liked it or it not. It's pretty good. Uh, for any of you that are ICP fans. It's an ICP album. It's an ICP album. Yeah. And it returns, it's a return to form for them. They actually sound... I'm not going to say that they have Competent. sucked. Yeah, I'm not going to say they have sucked. Since around Biff Bang Pow, but they have. So this is a return so to form. <laughs> so this is good news. <laughs> they don't suck anymore. So anyway, what else you got, man? This fucking big ass throw. Yeah, the big ass throw. Now, I don't know how the hell to show this. It's a big Batman throw, so that's super gay that you're going to be sleeping with Batman. Well, I plan to hang this up on my wall. Yeah, I thought you are going to fucking sleep with him. Yeah, I'm going to ski it in his mouth. What do you... How, well, how does this work? I mean, it's pretty simple. There you go. What am I looking at? That's his face. Uh, oh, sideways. it's his mega face, huh? Yeah. Sideways. Sideways mega face. I was confused. Time I don't know if that even showed well on yeah, the screen. Yeah, dude. Time to ski on it, by the way. Yep. Yeah. I got a little throw of my own, only mine's not gay as shit. Yeah, but you can't sleep on it, so... Oh, trust me, I'll sleep on it. Yeah, it's all crunchy. This is uh, Black Widow, Scar jo herself. Little vinyl poster. Had a little... I wish we had a sponsor so we could just hook you up too, but... Yeah. You know, just go to that, that, that website. Hashtag that website. <laughs> go to uh, buildasign.com if you want a cheap vinyl poster. It'll pretty much do anything except pornography trust me i tried so uh i finally scratched off a holy grail item uh-huh and uh, it's been showing the whole time so i don't know why i'm playing it up as a yeah. surprise I mean, come on uh usually my laptop's right there but not this time this got the, this uh the bad boy <laughs> yeah what is it up with this shit yeah i don't man. know it's really hard to here he is filet fish phil or whatever the fuck his name is <laughs> Song? Yep. <laughs> it's a good song, man. Top 40 hit. Oh, I missed it. Now his lips don't move. Yeah, unfortunately. But uh, you got it to move its body at the very least. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. I've been looking for this for some ass reason. I've been looking for this for like over nine years. What happened to the remix, man? <laughs> oh, 
I have scratching and shit. <laughs> wiki wiki. This probably sounds horrible on the mic, by the way. I don't even give a fuck. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. So Frankie the fish. I finally, Frankie the fucking fish. Finally got him. I can die now. Yeah. That was a weird thing. Yeah. You literally screamed when you saw it. <laughs> I did. Anyway, that's uh that's our haul, I think, for the for the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us what you think about this junk. Hit like, share, subscribe, those notification buttons. Cause where is it? I don't know what is it is, but I went with it. Give me back the filet fish Give me that fish. There you go.